Hi everyone, it's a new week and I have a new video for you and this uh, tutorial is part of the new edition of the Unique Antique Challenge hosted uh, by the Crafty Creech DIYs and co-hosted by Lavon at um, La Vintage Decor and the theme for this one is Vintage Tattoos. This theme wasn't cho uh, chosen randomly, it's a manifest against um, online bullying, bullying. Uh, some of our colleagues in this uh, furniture painters community were bullied uh, because they have tattoos and I personally have find this unacceptable. Um, just we are in 2023 and I cannot uh, believe that uh, this kind of comments and um, ideas are still spread uh, online so just Let's try together to be nicer and to be more tolerant to each other. Now, back to our piece. I have for a while this little uh, display cabinet. It was pretty dusty and I cleaned it behind the camera because I didn't want that this uh, tutorial last forever. And I have a pretty cool idea for this. And if you want to find out how this is going to end up, just keep watching. So for this particular project, I decided to use Dixie Bell's um, chocolate, which is a nice uh, brown, not super dark, but not very light. And also Dixie Bell's uh, blue is a super, super beautiful and gorgeous uh, color. So. Um, my chocolate uh, is a little bit uh, thicker because it's an old can, but I need this cons consistency because I want to create some texture and I'm going to use a very old like destroyed brush because when creating uh, textures you want um, to use some old uh, brushes otherwise because this is very harsh on your uh, brushes and you don't want to ruin your uh, good and expensive um, uh, furniture painting brushes. Uh, as you can see, I didn't take off my my glass because to be honest, <laughs> I feel like um, uh, cleaning um, it's uh, cleaning the glass um, takes you. Uh, exactly the same amount of time um, by just if you would like uh, put some taping uh, some uh, painters tape so um, I prefer if I can clean it just not to put any tape So now that all the texture is nice and dry, it's time to apply uh, our next color and I actually mixed together some leftovers from sea glass, a little bit of um, uh, Dixie Bell's blue and also a little bit of vintage duck egg. So let's apply this coat of paint. So when mixing uh, custom colors, guys, you need to make sure that you mix um, enough paint for the entire project because sometimes, you, especially if you don't measure the, um, uh, the amount, it's going to be pretty hard to, to match the existing color. So make sure that you have enough paint for the entire project. So now that this uh, coat of blue is nice and dry guys, it's time to have even more fun with this project and I want to create a little bit of patina and um, by just playing a little bit with uh, my paints, again chocolate and my mix of um, Dixie Belle blues, um, sea glass and um, vintage duck egg. So I want to give it a bit of an aged look and um, so if you want to create a really cool and like natural effect, um, this kind of effects, it's better to be created 
in the places where your uh, piece of furniture were, uh, would age um, naturally. So around the corners, around the cut edges. Uh, I know this is going to look a little bit messy, but just have fun with it. Um, just play with the two colors. I'm kind of creating uh, some sort of a blend of two colors by uh, tapping them. It's just, it's not like that um, classic blending process where you are like um, aiming to create a perfect blend. It's just having fun. So sometimes we have to have fun with painting furniture. It should be actually all the time fun. So, um, what I want is also that this kind of a blended uh, finish is um, fading away in my blue so that you won't see any like harsh uh, transitions. So I'm going to add a bit more of blue uh, at the transitions at the end. like I said I want this um, blend just to um, to feather away in my uh, blue and one more thing guys uh, sometimes your blend is going so in order to see the final result um, you have to let it dry and then uh, come over again and see if you like it if you want uh, to add a little bit more uh, because sometimes when it's when it's wet it's going to look not so great but once it's dry it all comes uh, together so my paint is nice and dry everything is nice and now it's time to bring this piece even more together to add it even more character and i'm going to use like this uh sanding uh, pad and I'm going to go very lightly over the surface and I will remove just a tad bit of this one coat of blue so that um, all that brown um, uh, texture that we created underneath will pop up a little bit through. So I put very little pressure because I don't want to sand through the entire paint. I just want to lightly sand uh, some of this blue paint. As you can see, it's already popping through. It's a little bit of tedious work, but it, it will work it, just a little bit. So now it's time to apply some protection. I'm going to use Dixie Bell's clear coat in flat because I want a nice and flat surface for this piece, guys. And I'm going to apply two coats because two coats would be uh, more than enough. This is more like um, a decorative piece, so it's okay. I am I'm applying this in thin coats with uh, Dixie Bell's a uh, mini brush it's a synthetic brush and it's just amazing it's it makes the applying of the liquid top coat like so easy and fast with this liquid top coat uh, top coat you don't want to overwork it and you don't definitely want to uh, put too much just uh, work with, work with small amounts and if you miss a spot uh, with your first coat you always have time to uh, go back and apply and fix uh, the mistake with the next coat. For the back panel of this piece, guys, I decided to mix together some uh, leftovers of drop cloth and um, cashmere. And I, I told you these small projects are a very good uh, opportunity to use uh, your leftover paints because you don't want to throw them away paints are expensive 
so um, yeah why not to use them on such small pieces like this and I'm going to apply it just as usually using a mist of water a synthetic brush and um, as a matter of fact with this panel I would like to get a little bit more um, smoother okay so now it's time to add a little bit more of interest to the back of this piece guys and I'm going um, I'm using some uh, gold gilding wax and the Dixie Bells um, royal da damask stencil and you want to make sure that your um, uh, stencil is uh, secured in place I put some uh, painters tape as you can see but be careful with the painters tape and make sure that it's uh, not something very strong something that you can put um, over a painted surface otherwise you uh, may rip your uh, finish once you take them off so I'm gonna take a little amount of um, gold gilding wax and just uh, dabbing it in all the design of the stencil uh, work slowly don't rush um, because you want to uh, get a nice and clean result if you rush it too much you can uh, just um, cause some um, uh, bleed through underneath your stencil and this you don't want this stenciling um, it's a pretty tedious uh, process you need to take your time it's pretty fun but it's time consuming so just don't rush take your paint and um, and dab it this is a great way actually to upgrade your uh, piece of furniture and to give it a little bit more of um, originality if I can say like this to personal personalize it a little bit Now I also added just a tad bit of gold, just uh, small touches and I feel like this brought everything uh, together. And we are done here guys, I love it, look at that gorgeous and yummy texture and that beautiful gorgeous back panel, everything came together so beautiful although uh, at some point I was insecure if this is going uh, to look great so if you guys like it please give me some thumbs up leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe I also included all the list of the materials down in the description below in case you want to buy something thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time